I'm here in the southern Dutch village of Mesh, located in South Limburg. And this was the very first town that was liberated by the Americans on the 12th of September 1944. Or was it? And how did it go? That and more you will learn in this video about the liberation of the very first Dutch village, the liberation of Mesh. Keep watching. Early September, the Belgian cities, Brussels and Antwerp were liberated and there were rumors in the Netherlands that their country would be next soon. September 5th, 1944 is known as Mad Tuesday, Dolle Dinsdag, in which Dutch citizens went out on the streets prematurely celebrating the liberation. Many Dutch would not be liberated for many months. Due to the failure of Operation Market Garden, the north and the west of the country would remain under German occupation. But who were liberated in September were the people of South Limburg. The very first house that was liberated was a farmhouse named the Mughof, located over there. Its inhabitants were hiding in the basement, but half past 12 an acquaintance knocked on the door to tell them that the Americans were here. Now the Dutch flag could not be hoisted yet, because there were still Germans in the area and you know that could pose a threat, but when the area was cleared the flag was raised and a photo was taken. Around half past 11 in the morning the first armored cars of the sea troop of the 113th cavalry group crossed the border near the hamlet of Laag Custard, south of Eisden. They adorned themselves with the name Red Horse and were part of the 30th US Infantry Division, Old Hickory, a part of the 1st Army. Startled by the growing roar of the American artillery bombarding the German defenses, the Smeets family of the Mughehof farm on the Schansweg had been in the basement since the previous evening. Whether the Americans crossed the border with the Netherlands first at Laag Custard or further on at Mesh cannot be said with certainty. Apart from the roads or a single border post, the dividing line was nowhere sharply marked. It ran through fields and meadows. Many liberators would therefore hardly have been aware of the moment that they took their first step on Dutch territory. The Germans disappeared in the direction of the border and scattered one-man pits in the roadside and meadow behind thorn hedges. We heard rifle and machine gun fire and we thought it was advisable to retire in the cellar. It was around 2 in the afternoon that the Americans liberated Mesh, where Nier was the first to welcome them. After sitting in the cellar for some hours, he felt it was safe to come out. A woman remembered. When we came out, we saw the Americans. They came through the pasture and just crossed. They just kept coming. Then we noticed we were liberated. Jeff Warnier found out that the German who had warned him to take cover the day before had been killed in action nearby. He found the body of a fallen German soldier. He looked at his identity papers. His name was Wilhelm. Hattel, and that fought on the Eastern Front, and now this German had fallen in his village. He also saw the body of another killed German soldier. Everything of him, including his uniform and undergarments, had been stolen. A woman remembered the last night of occupation, when a young German soldier came at her house and asked for civilian clothes. My mother felt sorry for that boy, but her brother? from whom the Germans had already taken a car, said, don't give those clothes. When my mother heard about the German who had been killed near the Baron's castle the next day, she said, surely that is not the boy who visited us last night. Dutch historian Ludion grants Norbeek the esteemed title of being the first liberated location in the Netherlands. The question of whether Norbeek or Mesh was actually the first liberated village remains unsolved. The prevailing uncertainty stems primarily from linguistic confusion. Is it a hamlet, a village or a municipality? For instance, Mesh was incorporated into Eisen in 1943 and had forfeited its independent municipal status at the time of the liberation. Consequently, since Eisen itself was liberated one day later, the official documents do not acknowledge the liberation of Mesh. It is highly likely that a similar monument was erected in the village of Meer as well. Approximately two and a half hours after the telegram was sent from Norbeek, 
the mayor of the town, conveyed the same news to Queen Wilhelmina. At the time of Norbeck's telegram transmission, the final skirmishes were still ongoing there, while Meer had already been completely liberated from German forces. Near Norbeck, on September 12th, the first American on Dutch soil died, Roy L. Boer, a farmer's son from Kentucky. He would have turned 24 on September 21st, 1944, although here in Mesh it is claimed that Leonard J. Hoffman was the first U.S. soldier killed during the liberation. He lost his life in the morning of the 12th of September 1944. More Allied soldiers, Americans, Canadians, British, Polish and Dutch would give their lives for the liberation of the Netherlands. The first main city of the Netherlands that was liberated was Maastricht. Maastricht was liberated in the 9th, the 13th to the 14th of September. Most of South Limburg got off relatively merciful in the absence of German resistance. A fierce battle soon broke out in the center and north of the province. Thousands of soldiers and civilians lost their lives. Artillery shelling, bombardments, looting, raids, deportations and forced evacuations determined everyday life for months. Places like Venlo, Venderai and Gennep turned into a wasteland of rubble. People lived in miserable conditions in cellars. Famine threatened here and there. It was not until March 3rd, 1945 that Allied troops arrived in the north of Limburg and villages of Arsen, Velden, Bergen and Well were liberated. With that, the liberation of the entire province was a fact. Thanks to my patrons, you see their names on the screen right now, and a special thanks to Nick Terranova, Rainy Bechtel, Thomas Sabiega, Damian Wallace, Connor, Philip Jordan, Marcus Kaas, Nick Terranova, Haley, Mark Little Hill, Jan Jozinkiewicz, Joan, Justin Tabel, Tanya Dixie, Henry Clarkson, Rob Park, Andrea Marcic, Susanna Di Bella, John Peach, Fabrizio, Wayback History, Fernando Lopez Ojeda, Mike West, and Franz. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share. And click here for the full story of the liberation of the Netherlands and learn here about the liberation and the Battle of Maastricht.